guns are officially live. Five Nights at Freddy's and Fortnite. New guns, new galleries, and proximity chat. Backing up. You probably can't hear me anymore. Let's jump into it all. Okay, first, let's talk about some leaks. And this one is kind of crazy. You see, leakers put out that Five Nights at Freddy's was going to be coming today. Or at least that it had the potential. And yesterday, it blew up. Mostly because the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's said, keep an eye on someone's account today, hinting at some crazy collab. Well, it turns out the collab was for Dead by Daylight and leakers everywhere were kind of duped, including me. So I was really sad about it. So I decided to do something in my Survive the Backrooms map. So if you want to play this, search Survive and then look for this thumbnail. That is my map and then match make into one of these games. That's my map. Just as a reminder, the way this works is this is kind of like a big zombie game. A while ago, I put some Five Nights at Freddy's characters into this, but it was like way at the end of the game and a really hard place to get to. But I've added them into level one and it's pretty cool. Let me show you. Now, while I wait to show you, uh, I fixed this map. The chests were broken before. Now they actually work. And I've made it quite a bit easier. Like it used to take forever to get through each of the different waves, but I've made it now. The waves are about half the size as they used to be so that you can actually get through the map and, and not have to like spend hours doing it. So you get wave of NTDs that are coming at you. And then on wave four is when you get the Five Nights at Freddy's guys. So let me get there and then I'll show you. Okay, here comes wave four. You can see, look, it's Freddy coming right at us and Foxy. Bonnie's around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, there's Bonnie and Freddy like melted together. I don't know what's going on there. That's crazy. I don't know what that bug is. I'm not going to change it because it's actually better that way, I think. But if you want to play this, go and play. Map code is right at the top. This is probably the only way you're going to play Five Nights at Freddy anytime soon in uh, Fortnite. Okay, now let's get into the actual updates. Fall Guys is officially in Fortnite now. There's actually Fall Guys Islands now available. It's even in Battle Royale. You can go and race other players in the middle of the match it's actually pretty cool media tonic the creator of fall guys has even made some maps of their own like this is a hexagon map this is their tumble towers i actually just want to like play one of these matches just to see what it's like and i'm going to talk about some of the details of this so starting today you can publish your creative fall guy island so some of the rules are you can use fall guys in your title but you can't use their logo oh this is interesting so this isn't like hexagon this is like you have to collect hexes okay that's really interesting now now, they did say not to use any music that is not officially in creative mode. Oh, no, I, oh, wow, I just totally died. Oh, what the? This is weird. This is a different game. Mode. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, this is really cool. You can see there's all sorts of different things. Oh, my, oh, there's me down there at the bottom. I didn't even get a chance to compete. So you can't use any music that's not provided. And I'm going to look into some of that in just a minute because I think they have given us some music. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. But this is really cool. You can actually publish your islands. I've seen a ton, a ton of people create maps over the last week i kind of really like how epic has done this rollout where they gave us access to things at the beginning before you could publish so that people really had a chance to like i don't know get a chance to build things before just like rushing junk out which i mean i, I i've seen that happen so many times where people are just trying to be the first one out so this is a really cool way that they've uh, they've done this so i'm excited about fall guys i'd be curious to know what are some of your favorite maps you've played so far like this is really interesting but great w update i think this kind of stuff is really healthy for creative as it grows into something more than just, you know, I don't know what we're used to seeing. There's actually quite a bit of updates in Lego Fortnite. The battle bus is now in it. There's different ways you can fast travel. I haven't quite figured this out yet. Like I've been flying around and I haven't found more than one bus station. I found one right down here. You can see there's like this beacon going on and then I can come up here and initiate a fast travel, but I've kind of been stuck. I think I might have to find like another one to be able to use it, but I just haven't found another bus stop anywhere. So I, I don't know how that works, but that's cool that they've added that in. They've added a bunch of other things. If you're into Lego Fortnite, this is a looks like a great update with new cars and all sorts of things. I just haven't really been into it in recent builds because I don't know. It's just uh, I just haven't had time to really devote time to this. I mean, I love this game mode. I hope they continue to update it because it is really fun. I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to play it. Okay, now let's get into creative mode. And there's actually some really W updates today. So first, we got a bunch of new guns that they've been holding out on us. What I'm most excited about is the overclocked pulse rifle. So check this out. This one just 
fires so fast. Do you have that with like instant reload? Man, you can just waste people. It also gave us the rare minigun. This is something like, I just, I don't know why they wouldn't have given us this, I, it, it, but it, we have it now. We've got the diamond thermal DMR. So, you know, this is, I don't know how much I'm going to use this gun, but it's cool we got it. We also got high cards Havoc Suppressed Rifle, which is cool. It's not a terrible gun. I, I don't know if I'd use it much. And we got hard suppressed gun, which is literally identical to high cards. Like I'm just going back and forth between these two and their stats are literally identical. But we got Ocean's Bottomless Chug Jug, which is cool. I mean, I've got infinite ammo on, so it, it, it's already bottomless for me, but we gotta love getting some just more items that are cool in the game. So I, I'm glad we've got these. I've actually added them into Super Red vs. Blue, but I put them in the vault because, I mean, you can see there's the pulse rifle. It's in the vault because it's just so OP. I figured it'd be good to like at least wait until, you know, people have had a chance to play a little bit before we introduce it into the game. Best way to find the map is this if you search super. There's the map right there. Now, I, I should point out, Crazy Red vs. Blue added super into his title so he could try and take traffic from our map. I, I don't know why. <laughs> He's just trying to trick you. Uh, so don't follow for his tricks. He's a tricky guy. Make sure you choose the right map. Now, this update we've been waiting forever for, but if you go into your island settings, go to mode, and then go down to voice chat, you're gonna see proximity chat. You can turn that on or off, and if you turn it on, you can change the full volume distance pretty much as big as you want, up to 200 meters, which is basically the whole map. You can also have a fall off distance. I, I, I want to test this out, so I'm going to bring in someone to... Let's just test it out real quick. Okay, guys, so I brought in Ryan. He's part of our Jogo team. He's awesome. He's going to help us show off this proximity chat. Now, a couple of things. In the island settings, make sure you have voice chat scope set to all. I had it on team, and I thought it was broken because he wasn't on my team, but make sure it's set to all. And then let's let me show you what this looks like. So go ahead and talk, Ryan. Say, hi, my name is Ryan. Hi, my name is Ryan. So you can see over on the right that you see that little HUD that pops up that says it's real Paladin. And then uh, Ryan, show, show us how it works when you're backing up. Just like say, I don't know. And I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. You probably can't hear me anymore. And look, now now he's talking. I'm talking to him. He can't hear me. But now when he's coming closer, he'll be Forward able to hear again. me. So that's pretty cool. It gets quiet as he goes away because of the fall off distance. I mean, this is really cool. We've been waiting for this for a long time to be able to do this. Now, I think you need to probably think about if you want this in your map or not, because it can create some toxicity, maybe. But this is a really cool addition. And we also got three of the biggest galleries I, we've ever had. By biggest, I mean like literally the biggest. So this is the smallest of the three. It's actually really cool. Check out this Peely statue. It's so cool. I mean, all these statues and stuff are really good. These skulls are actually way more detailed than the other skulls we got in previous galleries. Just some really cool items here that I, I, I personally love. But I'm going to delete these because we need the room. Here's the next gallery. I mean, look, it takes almost the entire map to lay it down. So let's just place it down. There we go. You can see how absolutely massive these pieces are. But this isn't even the biggest gallery. You see, I'm going to delete it. You can see it's got the cool arrows and stuff, probably mostly for racing. And I should say you cannot build on these. Like these are only for zero build maps. Here's the next gallery, which is even bigger than the other one. So like, I'm going to place it down. This is mostly terrain stuff. Once again, you cannot build on it. Train is pretty cool though. It's nice and smooth hitboxes. I love these like archways and this one. I mean, gosh, it's just so big. I mean, to run across it takes forever. So it's got all of these really cool terrain pieces for like stalactites and stalagmites. It's got the green version with the grass on top. Actually, I'm curious if this is dynamic where if we flip it, if the grass will stay on top. Oh yeah, yeah, see, it does that same thing. And we also have some fire lava falls here. And these are actually a little different than the other ones we have. These are a little bit more detailed, which is cool. That's the update for today. Pretty cool stuff.